Today we are doing Harry Potter playing Quidditch. Yes, the famous sport. All right, what we're gonna do is we are gonna start off with its head. So you're just gonna do a round circle. I need to be come down a little bit more. Oh well, I don't know if I did much there. Okay, so Terry's looking that way. So we're gonna be putting a line this way and that way so we know that's where the eyes are. So right here in the middle, we are going to put where his glasses are. When we sharpie it, we'll make it thicker, but that's where his glasses are. And in the middle of this one. And then we will make his butt to nose right there. Okay, now we can erase the cross, cross bars. We'll do more than we erased before. Okay, so we've got his nose, his glasses, a little extra piece right there. And he has just a simple little smirk here. And right where these, see where it came out here? That's where we're gonna put the ear. So I do a circle and then I erase in there so it's connected to its head. And then I just do a rainbow and then another arch. There you go. All right, so his hairline's gonna begin right here. So we're gonna be making his swoosh, his hair. So it's gonna be parting little because he's in the wind and this part will just go swoosh. And inside here, we can get his little lightning bolt in there. So his hair is gonna come up and over all of this. So let's go from here to here, make a little mark here. This is gonna be the front side of his head and the back side's going to have his little swooshing hair. And you want to connect his glasses to his ears. So make a line here. We're gonna be making, when we sharpen it, we'll make this thicker, but then if you wanna make it look like it actually is glasses, you can put little swoosh marks. Now we don't need the top of the circle anymore, so that can go away. So J.K. Rowling's made up the word Quidditch. She wrote, she loved the word, the letter Q. So on five pages, she wrote pages, five pages worth of Q words. And she wanted to find that perfect word for the game and she came up with Quidditch. That was her perfect one. Okay, so now we're gonna do his collar in there. And we're gonna make his robe, plain robe come around. This is gonna come around like this. All right, now we have his arm in here. So his arm, it's gonna look like a bell. Okay, so we have like a bell in there and then his other arm is gonna come out. So we're gonna make it come out like this. Make a little scalloped edge. This is for the bottom of his protective pads. We're gonna make a rounded triangle. And this is his um, hand pad. This is just the pad. Underneath is his fingers. In there. And if you want, you can put some lines in here for the pads. And there's more lines here. Boop, boop. And this is his elbow. Okay, so now we can do the back of his hood. It's just gonna come back there. There's stripes along here, so we're just gonna make this all connect. Little racing stripes. Okay, now let's do his other shoulders. So right in the middle here, bring that down. That's just gonna go underneath. We'll see it down there. And this is the other part of his robe. So we're gonna make his robes billowing. So off the back here, we're gonna make his robe so it looks like he's flying. Okay, so Quidditch was created from five fictional ancient magical games. So this part is gonna come in, but we're gonna finish it off after we do its body. But that's like it's billowing. And if you wanna make it look like it's flying, you go so now we have his body. Oh, wait, we're gonna put his collar in. Here, here, here. And his shirt's gonna come down. And you have his legs, so we can make them look like giant eggs, ovals. 
That's his legs coming down and he's having pads on there. But first we wanna put in, this is the other part of its sleeve. So we're gonna be putting yellow in there because it's yellow inside. And we can't see the other sleeve just yet. But I guess we can get the broom. So the broom's coming out of his hand. So that Nimbus 2000 is it? And it's gonna go between his legs because he's riding it. And then you wanna put his fingers in there. So we're gonna put one, two, three fingers in there. And this is the back of his outfit. Okay, so now let's put his knee pads in there. Well, I guess we're gonna put his the back of his legs. Now we'll put his knee pads in there. So he's got some funky knee pads. And this is like a yellow strip. We'll just turn that into that. So here's his knee pads. They're gonna come out a little bit. We're gonna make these ones come out a little bit too. So we'll race in there. Oh, I've got a joke for you today. Why is Mad-Eye Moody such a, a bad teacher? He can't control his pupils. Think about that for a minute, it's pretty funny. Okay, now we have his foot. So his foot's gonna be coming out. I didn't put the little bars that it goes on. I tried to simplify it. And we want the broom to be coming out the back end. So it's gonna jump over, and jump. And then now where I have the broom, coming in here. And he has some like marks in there. All right, now it's time to put the broom in here. Whoosh. I like actually how the brooms are perfectly formed. Super job. Okay, so I want you to, I used a baby Sharpie just cause I think it's gonna look better. So let's get sharpening. That's a brand new Sharpie. Okay, now I'm going to double Sharpie around the outside. So we're gonna get started with coloring and we're gonna use the peach. So, so the iconic Harry Potter scar right there. Um, wondering how did that come about? Well, in an interview, JK Rowling said she just thought it would look cool. So that was the symbol was a scar of a lightning. She thought that'd be cool. And it is cool. And this is her little thumb here and his fingers. And then now you want to take your peachy. You want to go around where the Sharpie is. Okay, so now you wanna take the tan. So Harry, Harry Potter became the first and the only known person to survive the killing curse. And the reason why he survived was the love of from his mama. His mama's love for him to save him was so strong that she saved him. All comes down to love. Aw, that's so sweet. But then his mama died. And then he was raised by <laughs> crazy relatives. <laughs> Living under the stairs. Crazy. Okay, so now I want you to do is take a little touch of pink for the cheeks. Pink, pink, pink. Who wouldn't want to be able to ride on a broom, right? Seriously. Okay, so for the hair, I just did regular brown. So color the whole thing, we're gonna put a little black in there, but first we wanna color it all regular brown. So in 1990, the unknown author, 
J.K. Rowling's. Um, she was on a train ride. So she lived over in England and she was going from Manchester to King's Cross and the plane got stopped, it got delayed. And she was on the train for a long time and then she just, images of Harry and the whole story started coming together and over the next five years, okay, so you're gonna color that in pretty good. She mapped out the entire plot and how it was all gonna work and who's related and who betrays who. So now I want you to do, oh, come in here. Oh, I forgot to draw this in here. Oops, so this is supposed to be the back of his hair. Um, get black and then we're gonna make the underside black and then the ends here, give it a little depth. So his hair is not really black and it's not really brown. It's just kind of like in between. It's really dark. So she, over the next five years, she would sit. I read a biography on her. She had a little baby. She, when her baby was time for nap time, she would stroll down with her little, her baby and her stroller and park her there inside the little cafe. And she would sit down and just write and write and write. And the story was just coming together. While we have black, we might as well color these black. And she really didn't have any money. She kind of like down in her lock right there, but she'd kept all of her stories in like a box and bring it down and then plan out more. It just slowly came together. And the first couple places she took her story to, the first Harry Potter, to try to get it published. And they're like, no, this will never fly. This isn't good. And until one day someone's like, I see potential in this. And I'm sure all those other publishers that said no thank you probably were kicking themselves since they're still being published. <laughs> they're still popular. Millions and millions have been sold, different countries, different languages, all over the world. So that part is black and this part's black. If you want to make the underside darker, the bottom of it. Okay, super job. So let's get all the yellow stuff. So inside here, the underside of his robes are all yellow, which is usually the opposite because usually it's dark and black in there. This is yellow. The underside here is yellow. And then he's got little strips of yellow on here. And that's good. So, oh, and this is little rising strips yellow too. A Russian strip. So now we're gonna get the mahogany and that's gonna be the rest of his robes. And his under, his little arm sleeve is Bur maroon, mar mahogany, burgundy, you know, lots of different names here. Oh, his shirt too. Make that extra dark, just so it looks different. Oh, we have a yellow strip in there. Oops, this is yellow in here too. This is yellow, and then we forgot down here it's yellow, the under of the sleeve. Okay. If you want, you can put blue behind it. I don't know if you ever have a chance to read J.K. Rowling's story. Now, since she sold so many books and she's so popular in the movies, she's a multimillionaire and she lives in a castle. I mean, she got so much money, she bought a castle. Can you imagine living in a castle? That would be so awesome. Okay, so you wanna make this under part darker. And what I did for his legs, I just used tan. I'm just gonna color it really lightly because they're just like khaki, khaki pants. And color all the way. And then in here, let's make it a little darker where his seam is right under here. All right, and then the rest is just going to be I just did light brown and you're gonna color the rest light brown. I think you 
guys can do that. And I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. See ya.